All right, what's up, happy people? Here's a scoop. I promised y'all if I got 10,000 likes on that last video, we were gonna plan another trip back to Crystal River. Well, overnight, we got 11,000 likes. That's Brito Mas Grande. He turned 50 today. Woo, Ricky yeah. season to be in a geezer. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how on earth he's 50 because that's just insane. This is Mr. John, he owns Koa Spear Guns. This is Yaya, everybody up at Columbia University. <laughs> cheer and hit the subscribe button because <laughs> she's awesome. This is my nephew, I call her Yaya. Niece, niece, niece. She's a girl. Ah, you know, I, <laughs> oh, my brain doesn't work properly. But um, I also, I promised you guys, I got Gabe that Koa spear gun. I'm getting Aubrey a Koa spear gun. And John is nice enough to come in here on his day off to put it together. And the funny thing is, I called him about an hour ago and was like, bro, it's Aubrey's birthday. We're having a party at my house tonight. Would you please come put it together? So, and then we're going out to my house because my mom is making homemade cornbread stuffing, which is probably my favorite thing in the world to eat. For you guys, sure. You guys are gonna see that, but it's a great day. And thanks for riding shotgun. All right, you guys, we've actually been over making like this crazy Goliath group rig while Chris finished up. It's got a light on it. It's got a reel on it. It's the 52 inch roller koa. What's, hey, the, what's, hey. the, what's the actual name? It's not your turn to talk yet. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> That's, you nailed it, 52 standard roller. That's the standard. Well, um, I got this gun uh, before I went to Rota last year. I've shot a ton of fish with it. You've actually used mine. I got Gabe one for Christmas. Now, Gabe was the standard model. His birthday is on December 21st, so this represents birthday and Christmas. It's got the reel, it's got the light, and it's all you, brother. So I, I gotta say, while Robert was talking, innovating with Koa over here, I grabbed Chris, I was like, Chris, let's do some upgrades. And uh, the girls, Lauren and Ashley, got me the super nice flashlight, so Chris put together a custom mount for that. And uh, reel, it's on, baby, yeah. we are ready. Have you ever had a brand new gun like this before? I, I never ever in my whole 50 years of existence have had a brand new spear gun. Well, it's <laughs> and I got cool. one now. Aubrey has always been the dude who's taking care of everything. He drove his old blue Ford Ranger for about 8 million miles. <laughs> and uh, he's the director of the Loxahatchee River District. He's got a PhD from Texas A&M. He's an amazing brother and a great diver and spear fisherman. And I'm proud. That, that he made it to 50 years old. I mean, <laughs> the fact that he lived this long, it's super cool that, that we were able to do this. All you guys, hey, man. Chris, absolutely. Awesome job. Thank this you. Is, uh, this is a real blessing. Yeah, Thanks a lot, John. Awesome, man. My pleasure. For Good sure. Time. All right, you guys, we're going to the house. Mom's making cornbread dressing, and then we're eating dinner. Guess what? As promised, ladies and gentlemen, we got Miss Betty right here. She's about to make the best food ever. It's a family event going on, and you're a part of it. We got Blue Gabe, he's right there on the couch. That's where he normally is. That's Jake. That's a deer head that we're gonna hang up there somewhere. We're starting to decorate the wall. Look at that, y'all. Look at that beautiful mount right there. That's one of Sarah's. We got the Christmas tree. What do you think, honey pie? What are you doing? I'm trying to get your football on this TV. Not many of you, well, maybe you know. I don't know, some of you know I love football. We got the TV up there, and I'm trying to watch the Patriots and the Bills game, which by the time you watch this video, you're already gonna know who won. I don't know yet. But that's all moose meat, some cube steak and back straps. And mom, she's making her world famous cornbread dressing. Always wanna use eggs that come from your chickens if possible. They just are so much better. Yes, they are. If you guys hear a bunch of kids playing in the background, that's just what's going on. This is how much we're making. That's typically one dish. Almost every party mom comes to, she brings a dish full of cornbread dressing. Now, in my opinion, you cannot have too much egg. Hard boiled egg, oh my gosh. That's, my it's, that's the favorite, that's my favorite part. Fresh chicken and hard boiled eggs makes it. Over here, she's got a chicken. This is a chicken that's quartered out, broke down, and she's boiling it down with just a little salt and pepper. I got a question, Mom. How do you like my new stove? I love it. It's yeah. really nice. That's cornbread, homemade cornbread. You and make... cast iron skillets. Yeah. 
We used dark meat, the chicken legs. I had a bunch of chicken legs, so I boiled them up and then took the meat off of it. And there's some seasoning in here. I put a little of this and a little of that and some Everglades, of course. We're just going to crumble this cornbread up. And when you make cornbread in a cast iron skillet, it just has a, a nicer finish that has a, has a better flavor. And um, Is that an opinion or a fact? Ah, oh, it's a fact. Mm. Y'all want to know something funny? I've eaten cornbread dressing that my mom has made. I don't even know how many times. This is the first time I've ever seen her make it. I've never watched her make it. What? Well, That's crazy. And cornbread dressing is just like any other, you know, home recipe. Everybody makes it just a little bit different. Okay, next up. These are, this is two cups of celery that I cut up earlier. Mm -hmm. Two cups of onions. And this is a sweet, a Vidalia onion, but you can have whatever kind of onion you like. It, it's just whatever kind of onion you like. That's it. The, um, the egg. We just Ooh. put the egg in there. Pepper. Just a little bit. Yeah. Dude, look at that spice rack. Heck Isn't yeah. that awesome? Mix it together. Oh, we'll check this out. Bam! Overhead lights. That? You got everything in this kitchen, Robert. Make sure you have it all mixed. All of the ingredients mixed in there really good. This smells and looks amazing. Oh, you shut it off already. I shut what off? Yes, the burner. Yes, I didn't want to be mixing and it cooking while I've got that in there because we'll put it in the dish that we've got in the oven and bake it in there. Seeing as y'all are hanging out with me tonight, how many of you know that I love radishes? Did you know that, Gabe? No, it was nasty. I love radishes and I do not like cranberry sauce. How funny is that? So is that about the consistency you're looking for? Yeah, and then we bake it. And uh, if I didn't have enough broth, I would just put uh, some milk in it or uh, some carnation cream or half and half to, to get it to the consistency that we need. She just put that pan with a little bit of butter in the oven. As that melts, then she'll put all of her cornbread stuffing on top of it and start to bake it at 350 degrees. Come here. What you eat, ma'am? Cupcake. Cupcake? No more. You eat the whole thing. I want it. No. Ooh, who wants one of those? With the sprinkles. Wait, Mom. Emma does. No, wait till the right. ball rings here. That's Luke. That's Gabe's youngest son. Okay, the butter's melted. So, you have to be tall to use this oven. Well, Mom. Careful with the shut it, Sarah, please. And then we're going to just put our dressing in here. Do you have to be tall to do that also? Ooh, that's heavy. Look how good that looks. Thank you. A lot of people don't put chicken in it, but I like the chicken in it. Oh, yeah. For sure. Here. What are you doing there? How many cupcakes do you want? Cupcake monster? Gone. Oh, Robert, did you see that? Put it back. Do it again. Gone. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, we like we don't tell them to do that. She that's the first time she's ever done that, so we gone. got to be tall to use this thing, you know? Yes, yes. We could have started the bottom one, Betty. 
While Sarah's over here cleaning away, got the cupcakes all done, still don't have the football game on, but the Christmas tree does look pretty, and TGBTG. So while mom's stuffing is in the oven, I was like, well, heck, might as well show what we're doing here. This is all moose meat. A lot of you saw the moose hunt that I went on up in Saskatchewan, me and Sarah. We got two mule deer and a moose. Had all that meat brought back home. Now we're here cooking it. It's the little things in life. I got my TV on. Mom's uh, dressing is almost done. Everyone's here. There's dad. There's Yaya. What happened to the TV? Turn it on. You're gonna drive me crazy with this. <laughs> this is just complete madhouse crazy town. What? We don't have steak knife, I just thought. Hey, you know what I realized? You know you're getting old when you got a 50 year old brother. Dude, no doubt. For, for those of y'all who think we just have this calm, collected life, you're seeing like how it really works. Y'all just went inside. I don't know. Cake was nine when I met him. Now I'm 29. Yeah, it was right back the door. Absolutely. Heck, Sarah was much older than I when I met her. About to get some heat on this stuff. Lord, thank you so much for this day and thank you for this food. Thank you for all of our many blessings. Lord, thank you so much for coming down and dying on the cross for our sins and paving the way for a life where there is no sorrow and there is no pain, there is no darkness. Lord, thank you for all of Aubrey's years and all of our family's fun over the years. Lord, thank you for, for everything. Please be with us, guide us, and nourish this food to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Look at Dad digging right in there. Give me some of that. Yeah, Dad, right. Dad, you like Mom's cornbread dressing? Yes. Anybody would like that. Hey, I'll give two thumbs up to some cornbread dressing. What do you think, Gabe? I love this cornbread dressing. There's salad over here. What kind of meat is this? It's all moose meat. That's the moose that we got in, in Canada. Fourth and gold, Robert. Oh boys, come on, baby. There's so many better things to watch. Like I have 70 videos y'all can watch rather than having to watch football. If you were here right now, you would think we're arguing with one. You would think we actually are yelling at one, one another. We just talk this loud because we're all super, super hard of hearing. Including Lauren. What? Patriots win, baby. Uh, Patriots win! Alright. And hey, I gotta say, I'm a Tom Brady fan. Uh, Julian Edelman. Bill Belichick's a little grouchy, but people say I get grouchy at times, so I'm a Bill Belichick fan as well. But more than importantly, I love football, and I enjoy watching it. I've enjoyed watching it since I was a little kid. Honey, do you like watching football? She says she does, but she doesn't really. She's a pseudo Packer fan. What up? They don't serve this in dining halls. <laughs> mm. Aria, love you. Y'all look at that. That's awesome. There's old El Capitan, Captain Walt, Miss Betty. They've been married since 1969. August 1st, wasn't it? Second. August. Ooh, Dad remembered that. Robert, when's our anniversary? Robert, when's our anniversary? March 14th. What year? For August 1st. 2012. That was close. 2015. We met in 2012. Okay, well, whatever. It's just three years old. American Gothic. I was married to you the moment I saw those beautiful blue eyes. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm getting indigestion now. You know what they say? What do they say? Hey, does anyone need to see something because this light don't, is really don't bright? Don't turn it on. It's too bright. It'll blind us. They, they say it's a birthday. Got a plate full of moose. Mom's homemade cornbread dressing. 
Got a brand new roll of Croa. Got Blue Gabe over here. Oh, there's Gabe. It's a great day. It's a good day we can all be together. And we'll be back like the electric bill. But right now, we gone. Guys, am I good at this or what? You're amazing. Hey, you should put on there, future member of AARP. Padre. <laughs>